Hello everyone, this is Inglorious P back in our video today, and today you know how I was going to talk about it. I've been telling you, it's the PSA price increases, what it means for the hobby, what it means for all of you that are submitting cards, um, what it means for PSA as a whole, all the other grading companies. I'm going to discuss it all, my thoughts. Um, I've tried to get as much information as possible. I'm in a ton of grading group submissions. Um, you know, I, I've gotten as much information as possible besides the final prices for like group subs, but I've got a good idea of what it'll be. So before I begin, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know below what you guys think of this video, what you want to see on future videos, all that good stuff. Um, and let's get into it. All this heavy information. PSA has increased their prices. They have changed a lot of what they're going to do. Uh, there's expected, that's why I told you guys to get your cards in while you could. Um, I know I sent out as much as I could. I sent stuff, you know, next day just to make sure I got the current pricing. Um, but let's let's take a look here, okay? Let's not panic. Let's look at it from a logical sense. I'll have my final thoughts at the end if you want to fast forward to that part. Um, we'll all change kind of screens. But right now, if you look at the pricing, the value... They're calling it value. I believe that's going to be, that's basically 45 day. They've just taken away the, the length of time, right? They just call it value. It's 45 day. Um, you're looking at $25 for anything new. So your LaMelo Balls, your, uh, you know, Tyrese Halliburton's, your, even like last year's, your Sexton's, your Garland's, your Baisley's, your uh, RJ Barrett's, your Zion's, your Jaws, all that stuff, $25 to grade now it is valued up to four hundred ninety nine dollars okay so you are getting you know a, um, a increase in that instead of being worth two hundred dollars it can be worth up to five hundred however you're under the 45 day um, you know wait time right so you're, you're really you're you're getting more value allowed but you're paying more for it um, so that's kind of my analysis on it. Um, yeah, you're paying twenty bucks for nineteen or for twenty seventeen and earlier. TCG is twenty dollars. Um, yeah, and that's still. I mean, that's okay. That's better than twenty five. Twenty five to me is a bit much, but twenty. Okay. The problem with you know stuff earlier than twenty seventeen is a player really has established themselves, right? Unless you're buying into the hope that this player's card grows over time due to vintage, right? you're buying you're not really buying it for you're buying it for the flip rather than the potential growth whereas 2018 and newer it's okay i believe sexton is the next top 10 player in the league you know he's probably not but i'm just saying you believe that and so you send it in that's what you're hoping for with that one okay regular service a hundred dollars valued up to a thousand dollars so i believe this will be the 20-day service so if that's true a hundred dollars, but you get it up to a thousand. Again, you get more value, but you're still going to have to wait, you know, four months, five months to get back for a hundred dollars a card. So really, it's you're going to have to reassess how you grade things. Like they've changed the levels of stuff, right? So you just have to re you have to relook at this, take back out your cards you wanted to grade, and reassess where you value them in the long term growth. And that's per card basis, right? Express is $150 up to $2,500. Value, to me, that's when PSA starts to be worth it again when you're talking thousands of dollars cards. Um, you know, paying $100 for a card that's only worth $700, $800 after grading, you know, I'm out. I, I, I can't give up an eighth of my money just on grading a card before raw value, which is itself also going to be like $100. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll get into my final thoughts at the end, but and then they have higher values for those that do that. So next slide. Um, this is where we're at as far as completed through date. PSA updated this, and they, you know, said kind of where they are. So again, value is basically 45 day. Um, that is, they're just now getting to July. Now think about <laughs> you guys. It makes me laugh. Okay, 45 day is just now getting to July. Think about where we were back in July. The bubble had just started, I believe, or was just about to, or um, I get the dates mixed up. Maybe it was August. 
So you hadn't seen the, you're just seeing the boom of cards being sent in to PSA in July. So you have July, August, September, October, November, December, January, and all of February, plus at the end of February now, you have all these cards that were just submitted last second. Um, something like millions of cards were submitted. I and mean, if you take, look at all the group subs that you might be in and think, and they all announce it, right? They're all saying, oh, I submitted a thousand cards, 5,000 cards, 10,000. That's a ton of stuff, guys, that just went in in the last couple days. So anything you sent now is behind all of this stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, the, the times for PSA, okay, yeah, they might slow down now, right? If you take away, let's say, 50% of the people stop submitting now, sure, yes, you, you are correct that they will stop they will slow down what's submitted, but that does not mean that the cards that are there, you're not gonna skip those cards. They have to be graded first, right? Because you're now being thrown in, the value is now being thrown in together, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, and, and you've gotta consider, so you're really, anything you send in now, you're not getting back till this time next year. January next year. Um, so just pl keep that in mind. Anything you submit now, I would not expect back before at the very earliest and this is like very earliest december mid-december i don't there's no way they come back earlier than that if july is just now getting started and that's when we saw the real real boom of psa taking in submissions okay um the economy which is the uh which i don't really know how it matches up i've been trying to figure that out um I believe that's regular service. I think that's what they're called. Okay. So economy really can skip it regular. They're just now getting to November 1st. So anything you send in for $100 each is going to come back, you know, uh, what is that? July-ish, June-ish. Anything you send in today, 3-1 will probably be like 7-1-8-1. That's when you can get your stuff back. So that's not horrible. Um, that's about what 20 Day was doing. You're just now paying $100 for it rather than... $25. I was paying $25 for 20 day and now that 20, 20 day service is now $100. Just keep that in mind. That's how they've changed. That's how PSA has really moved this thing around, right? So bulk is going to take you a year. 20 day or what was 20 day now called regular is now four months. Express um, at $150 each. They're already up to January. So anything you send in today, you'd probably get back. March, uh, May 1st, right? So it'd be like two months turnaround is what I would guess. So that's the turnaround times. And let's look at the analysis of the pricing. Okay, so I've really spent some, I spent the past three hours overlooking all this stuff. So this is my thoughts on the pricing. PSA, anything under $250 to me is a no. Um, one eighth of your profit is gone initially already off the bat not worth it um you send in for 25 dollars um and i'm speaking really i'm speaking about ultra modern older stuff it's different especially if it's hey if the card's worth 200 like and the guy is established or he's retired right he played in the 80s 90s and it's a 200 hundred dollar card hey if you believe the card market that a year from now will still be strong which i think it will if you still believe that then hey it's not really changing there's no why not send it right um or send it to whoever you want to send, SGC, CSG, HGA, whatever, I don't care. But then I'm, I'm speaking about ultra modern when I talk about this. So you believe that Sexton is the next guy and you have his revolutions or you have his whatever card under 250 after grading. To me, it's a no. I'm not giving up an eighth of my profit. Um, plus you had to pay for the raw card. So let's say you spent $10 on a raw card. You spend 25 to grade, that's 35. You then pay for shipping to and from your group submitter or to PSA. So you're looking at another 45, you know, another $10, so it's like $45. And then you have eBay fees, so if you sell it for 200, you've now lost an extra 30. So you've lost $75, and you had to wait a year for this card to come back. You'll make like 100, 150. Is it worth it to you? If I gave you $50 right now, could you make that money flipping on star stock right now or flipping something else or stocks or sending to another type of submission, you know, like sending to SGC? Could you take that $50 and flip it again? 
before that person even gets it back in a year for a hundred dollars you know hundred fifty dollars profit do you guys understand what I'm saying I'm saying rough numbers obviously you can adjust obviously prices can go up and down whatever but do you guys understand what I'm saying with the pop report so high and you know you're not gonna be the first one to get it you know by the time you get it a hundred a hundred other people have that card back right so what I'm saying is to me it's gonna kill off the base market base cards unless it's a top player won't be worth it and that if it's under two hundred and fifty dollars unless it's an established player you know to me it's not worth it guys um, to me and I've been how long have I been telling you guys this by the way a company like SGC or I've been I'm saying my bulk subs to CSG it's eight dollars per card if you're interested let me know to me that's a way better deal um, it's just I can flip even if I get 30% less on a card I can flip it faster than you can even get it back I'll take my $50 and make it 500 by the time you get your one card back to make your extra 30-40% do you guys understand what I'm saying even if liquidity is a little harder now 250 to 499 yes I think that that's a good deal if you especially if you have like courtside or field level cards like select you know higher end if you've got numbered or colored stuff and after grading it's worth you know 350 400 oh yeah it's still a, I mean, for $25 that's still a good deal right because you know yeah I'm paying $25 but 25 out of 400 is oh, I'm trying to do it in my head 1 16th of your money that's not bad I'm not mad at that I mean okay fine it's gonna take a year to get back and who knows what the card will be worth but if I really believe in someone like that then you can't be mad at that price so ju just keep that in mind everybody that um, I, I, I'm not bashing him I, I just think that the lower end bulk PSA has opened up a whole wave of opportunity for other companies so um, I'll get to my final analysis at the end but regular service 500 to a thousand no it's too much money a hundred dollars to grade a card 20 day service essentially if it's a $700 card, let's say you sell it for $700, you paid $100 to grade it. You already lost out one seventh of your money. Now, you didn't get this card for free, you bought this card raw. And this is assuming you get tens. This again is assuming you get tens. Assuming you get tens and the card and the player stays good and nothing happens to them in that four months and the off season doesn't come and nothing happens, you just lost a seventh of your money, an eighth of your money. Plus you have the fees, plus you have Uncle Sam at the end of the year wanting his 20%. Plus you have, you know, the eBay fees, the shipping fees. You're losing out a ton of profit. I mean, it's, I pay, let's say, I don't even know how much you would pay for a card in this level. Let's say it's, I paid $75 for a card raw, paid 100 to grade, that's 175 grading to and from PSA, shipping to someone after I sell it. You know that's 190 plus I have the eBay fees. That's another 70. That's 260. Plus I've got, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's still worth it. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna make your money. That's if it's a 10. But it takes a way bigger chunk now out of your profits. However, anything over a thousand, I still have to think about it. I, I don't know. I don't play in this arena enough to know what. It, the positives are I, I think it is still worth it um, I still think it's worth it to send a PSA even at 150 even at $150 per card um, I think it's worth it because no one else resells as high and now you're talking big money um, so I think over a thousand it's still worth it that brings me to my last point though this is my overall thoughts okay my overall thoughts PSA what now <laughs> are they gonna get new tech is it going to be better turnarounds, more employees, better product? What new label? What are they going to do to quantify these price increases? Now, you can say it's, oh, well, there's such a high demand. I must charge more. Yes, but you also lose a lot of loyal customers when you do that, right? Now, hey, I'm all for capitalism and making your money. I don't get mad at flippers, you know. Um, if there's buyers, then okay. Like, I'm sorry. Like... I'm all for the making money portion, okay, PSA, like you guys can make, 
however much money you want. But you're going to push away a lot of people and the common person who collects for fun or you know they don't have much money they just want to make some quick flips like watching this channel what what are you going to do to quantify me sending you stuff are you going are your turnaround times going to like get way better you know um because anything i send now i'm still behind all those people right so do you have something in place to make this really fast so that hey even though we're still in july we'll get caught up we'll be at december subs by next month right like we're gonna fly through this or are you guys gonna keep going slow and you know <laughs> you guys understand what i'm saying um and i'm not trying to bash them again this is not a channel where i bash anybody or any company they all have their pros and cons but to me i'm out um unless i need to see what why like why would i send to you what what can you give me that's better besides resale values um because that's if y'all don't know for those that are new bgs used to be considered the top company BGS used to get the most money for resale values back in the day and then PSA came along and took them over who's to say that in five years someone else doesn't overtake PSA right so just be careful um, if you're just saying it's because resale values yes you're right for now and you can send them in for now but that's all for now until HGA or some some new company takes over okay so number two I think this is the end to group subs the reason I say this is I'm in group subs and these group subs are tier one, which means they send the most you need to send to PSA for the best pricing. And they've already announced that anything over the, I'm trying to get the terms correctly, anything over express, express and over do not get a discount. Okay. You do not get a discount for sending express and over with a group sub. So if I have a $2,000 card, why would I send to you? Oh, actually, no, more than that. <laughs> if I have a $3,000 card, why would I send to you? Yeah, no, $2,000. I was right the first time. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of riffing. But anything over $2,000, why would I send to you? Well, if I can, anything over $1,000, I can send in at the same price as you. So why would I send to you? It's just extra shipping cost for me. So on that note, Value and regular, they are the group subs are going to get a discount, but we don't know how much it is yet. So we'll see. Even if it's 20% discount, right? If it starts costing you 16, there's no way though they allow that. If it's you know $20 for ultra modern and maybe like 80 for regular, then okay. But if it's not that big a discount, I imagine they're going to push out the bulk submitters. Um, but we'll see because to me PSA doesn't need them as much as the bulk submitters need them as much as they need PSA right PSA does not need the bulk submitters as much as the bulk submitters need PSA and this is why I'm against you know like drop shipping and stuff and running your business through Amazon because you need Amazon more than they need you I've had it happen to myself when I had a t-shirt business that's another story if y'all want to hear it let me know in the comments but the PSA will get cards no matter if they're bulk submitters or not, okay, whether dealers or not. These dealers need these discounts to make their money to keep submitting to them. If they get cut out, PSA is still going to get cards. They're still going to make their money, and they get the extra 10%, 20% that they don't, you know, that, that they have to give to these, you know, group submitters. They don't need them. So trust me, at least, th this is my overall thinking as someone that works in business. Um, has run a business PSA feels at this point and they I am not disagreeing with them they feel that hey we're number one we don't we're the Amazon of PSA we don't need all these little group submitters sending to us why are we giving them a discount when we can take in that extra 10 20 percent we're already gouging them on prices we didn't even have to make tech improvements to still get people to submit to us Okay, so that's my only concern is that they're not going to make improvements and that these bulk submitters are going to get cut out and that you'll be paying those full prices. And who knows what the discounts will be. I'll update this video. Um, I'll make a second part to it, but I know I've go I'm going kind of long here. But number three, how do people react? I have been watching as many comments 
as possible. Um, Northeast Ohio put up a poll, and about 50% of people still say they're sending their, their bulk to PSA. The other half are all split on the other companies. Now, my prediction is you're going to see a company. I don't know who. My best guess is CSG, but it could be SGC, HGA. I don't know who. One of these companies is going to take over the bulk group. That's what the fight is for right now. PSA owns the top, but someone's going to take over the bulk area and cut out the rest. Is my opinion. I think that's what's going to happen. I think you're going to see a lot of people... Um, I think a lot of people also feel disrespected by this move by PSA, reading the comments, um, and I feel for both sides, I understand everyone's argument, I've really spent hours, guys, listening to everybody, but, you know, half the people say, hey, it's just business, you know, you resell for a lot, they make their money, no problem at all, it'll help with my turnaround times. The other half of the people say, this is disrespectful, I'm done with them, I'm not sending to them anymore, um, Waste of time, money, all that good stuff. And comment below what do you guys think. I want to get as many, many opinions as possible on this. Because um, I appreciate all y'all's feedback. Because it helps me make my opinions. Number four. What's the lasting effects on this? Um, does this help or hurt PSA in the long term? Does this help with resale values? Does it, you know, change what's going to happen with other companies? Um, and it's weird because everyone has come out with different prices, right? Like SGC raised, it's now $15 through a, it's $15, but it's 30 day turnaround guaranteed. Uh, what's it called? GMA, for as much as you may like or not like GMA, they increased their prices now. Um, they just did that. BGS just raised their prices a couple days ago, or you know, a couple weeks ago now. Uh, CSG just came into the game. Um, HGA just came into the game. So now you have all the price. The game is, we're here. The prices have increased. This is where we're at, at least for a couple months. What's the lasting effects on this? Who takes over? Um, I think you're going to see a lot of rearranging, a lot of people changing their opinions on stuff. Um, when BGS raised their prices, I talked to card shop owners here in the DFW area um, at the Dallas Card Show. And and the other day when I was at the card shop, I was just talking to them, talking to people there. And they're over it. They're over BGS. They said, well, if y'all are going to charge this much for something that doesn't even resell close, why am I sending to you guys? Okay. So then PSA now raises their prices more drastically than BGS even did. Okay. So my question is, what does this do to them? Right. What, what do people start to think about them and their product and all that truly if i have to give my overall opinion this is a very good move for the short term eh, not even a very good it's a you know it's a b it's a solid b flat um grade for now they get their money nat turner gets a ton of money back on his investment um long term it is a f um, grade for me only because now you have all these new people in the hobby. They've been in the hobby now for six months. You might be one of these people. You've been in the hobby for six months. What are your thoughts on PSA already? Well, I know that you're going to increase the prices on me a ton. You make it unaffordable for me. I'm just a common man trying to make my flips to be like Sasha T or Coleman or whoever you watch on YouTube. I just want to make a few bucks to, you know, get some cool stuff in my PC. You, once you start, want to you know, as y'all know, I'm sure, first impressions are huge, okay? And the first impressions, they last a while. So if you're, you know, you've been sending some stuff to PSA for a little bit, maybe a few months, how are you feeling? You feel kind of, I mean, I know how I feel. It's like, y'all really going to gouge me this much? I, I'm, I'm just, you know, disappointed in it. I know they need to make their money. Um, but to me, it's, I already showed you guys the cards I'll be submitting Really, it's that sweet spot of if, it, if the card's worth a good amount, then yeah, I'll send to them. Um, like if it's worth a lot, I'll send to them. Or if it's in that sweet range of like 250 to 500, I'll send to them. Anything else, bulk, anything else, no, no, no. Way better options. Trust the plan when I say that you quicker flips are the better way to make money than your extra 30% with PSA. Trust me, I've been doing it. Yes, does it take a little more time to move? Of course. 
but it's all about that money velocity um, and this changes the game it changes the game a lot I'll probably make a follow-up video because I, I just have a lot of thoughts going through my head but please comment below what do you guys think um, and that's number five what are y'all doing do you agree with me disagree with me I don't care if you do or don't I want to hear what you have to say um, and yeah so I appreciate y'all watching this video if you liked it please comment subscribe let me know below what you guys think and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one peace